All right, guys, so I am out here in the country near my house, and we're gonna get ready to do a speed run with the infraction. So, because uh, I'm not a speed guy, let's just get that out of the way. I'm gonna be doing the GoPro on my hat. I'm not gonna be holding the camera like I normally do in a selfie stick in my controller hand. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes, what we can see. But uh, we put the uh, the larger pinion on the 27 tooth and we'll see if we're getting the 80 miles an hour that everybody else is getting. It's definitely getting the 80 that they say on the box for everybody else. I wanna see if I can do it as well. But again, I've never done speed, so we'll see what we've got going on. It's not a super busy road. It's also not a very wide road. It's like one and a half lanes. There's not even a line in it, but there are no curbs. It's a little bit of a ditch, but there's no mailboxes. So we'll see how we do. All right, we are running the new 3S 5,000 milliamp hour 50C Venom graphene batteries LiPo. Got our fans going. Once I feel uh, my comfort level with this, we'll try and get the uh, GoPro on the car to get some of the uh, telemetry that the GoPro does, which is super cool. Also, I did, uh, I did cut the fin down. All right, let's just see how it feels. And we're steering off to the side. Get it straightened out. Try and get our steering set before we go too fast. In the ditch. Did I lose reception? Oh, that's funny. Going slow and I put it in the ditch. <laughs> All right, you can see we are zeroed out. Lost it again. Whew, I'm afraid to go full throttle. I'm losing reception. All right, so I'm walking again. One of the issues I'm having right now is reception and trying to find out how far I can go. Ideally, I'd let it just kind of coast and not have to brake hard with this big pinion in there. Uh, and so, Maybe I am braking too hard and it's doing something, overpowering something and it's not letting me steer. But uh, I can't steer after I hit the brakes and then it goes into the ditch. So luckily it's going slow from braking, but it's not ideal. I don't want to be uh, out, of, out of losing control of the car. So I don't know if it's power related or distance related because I've been driving it pretty good distances before. But if, when I do hit the brake, I do seem to lose it. It's weird. Again, I'm not a speed guy. So I'm not used to this, but I don't like the idea of it getting away from me. Luckily, it's having time to cool down between runs because I have to keep walking to get it. All right, guys. So I feel like I only have a shot or two at this. So we're going to go for it. Into the grass. Eighty-three miles an hour. Sweet. That's my fastest yet. Let's clear it. See what else we can do. And man, I keep losing reception. If it stops, I'm able to hit the brakes and then it's gone. Would not turn or anything. 79 that time. We 
try and get up to speed quicker this time. That got sketchy. guys so motors at about 138 140 just kind of popped on there for a second 137 ESC 124 142 I saw in there I don't know what it was hitting when it hit that but warm Yeah, 123 batteries, 120, a little bit warm, couplers are 116, yeah, about 120, and the motor, like I said, is right in the 140 range, so not, not as bad. But that's just a bit different type of running style than I was doing with the bashing, all that. We were out here for a while doing speed runs. Did quite a few of them with the GoPro on, with it off. Uh, I did have quite a few walking things in between. I'd lose range on the controller. Even when I was just going slowly down, I you know went too far and then it went off into the ditch, which meant I had to walk and get it. But uh, So that's one of the things, one of my takeaways uh, as a first time speed run guy like real speed run over 80 miles an hour uh is that uh, i need better range for the controller for sure um you know you stand in the middle then you you know you're halfway so you've got you know 150 feet maybe each way something like that it seems like it's getting uh the 200 300 feet you know that is losing range so uh even when i started in the center i wanted to have a longer lead time to run up and then also brake time so I wouldn't be hammering on that pinion in, in there, that large pinion and really heating up the motor and all that. So, uh, you know, I wasn't sure if it was me, you know, if that was overloading at first, having that pinion break. And, uh, you know, maybe then I just lost signal during that time. And by the time I was in the ditch, I couldn't, you know, back it out. Another thing is a uh, place without ditches would be awesome where I could just kind of drift off a little bit on the ending. Uh, when I do break, this is a pretty narrow road. So not ideal situation it's ideal in that there's nobody here and it's really smooth and that it is kind of safe going off i actually slid off at full speed and kind of saved it which i got lucky on that one the gopro was on for that ride so hopefully that'll be interesting footage but uh 83 miles per hour was the top i got i got an 82 and then the last one with the gopro on was an 81 it'll be fun to see how the gopro uh reads that speed versus what the uh the dynamite uh, spinometer was saying. So the, the spinometer said 81 on the last run was the last couple was the highest that I got. So um, yeah, a lot of fun. This, this car is a beast. These tires are bald. It was just taking it anyway. Uh, they didn't blow up at, you know, 83. Um, even, even as they are kind of worn out at this point, show you here in the, the sun, we're pretty bald. This one's got a little bit of tread, but it's kind of uneven wear. The fronts are looking 
like they evened out. But we do have, you know, still some thickness to them. Not too bad. We'll have to shake it out. So many, so much dirt got thrown in there. When I'd go off, we'll have to get it back and hit it with the air compressor. I love this truck. I know that everybody has, you know, different ideas of what was causing overheating and if the motors are toast and all that. But, um, you know, they're, they're running temps that are good now. And, uh, yeah. I, w I just wasn't abusing it like I was before with all the burnouts and all that. So uh, good temps, high speed, big gear even. We're running the high pinion, uh, the higher tooth pinion, 27 teeth. And, uh, you know, it's 140 temps, something like that, Fahrenheit, not too bad. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in as always. Uh, hope you guys are having fun doing the RC and you're doing this week. And we'll catch you next time.